write down the coordinates of a the x intercept of f so we have two functions f of x and g of x well f of x is equals to log of x and the base is f and we are looking for the for a the x intercept of f we know fully well that for the x intercept we just need to let y be equals to zero we're gonna get zero it's equals to log of x and the base is half if we apply one of the log laws then 1 over 2 to the power 0 should be equals to x the base just goes and carries the 0 so what is any number to the power 0 the answer is 1 so this is the x value at a but you're looking for the coordinates of a not the x value at a so we can't leave it like that this is actually not complete we then have to say that a the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 0 now we have covered all that we need to cover let's take a look at 6.2 determine the domain of f well f we still have f of x being equals to log of x and then the base is half the base doesn't really affect us that much is this x that we need to pay attention to for the function f the domain x is greater than zero x is greater than zero that is because log we can only feed it positive numbers and you know numbers greater than zero essentially we cannot feed it zero or numbers that are less than if you put zero on log you're going to get undefined if you put a minus number you're going to get undefined so here we need whatever that is in here to be greater than zero but in our case we just have x so x is greater than zero if for instance we had x minus 2 then we would say that we need x minus 2 to be greater than zero so x needs to be greater than 2 right but in our case we just have x so that is why we are saying that x is greater than zero we cannot feed log anything that is less than zero so there we go uh, that is the domain of f 6.3 determine the equation f inverse in the form y is equal to well yes f of x let's just swap x and y in attempt to find the inverse so the first step in finding an inverse we swap in x and y we're gonna have x being equal to log of y the base still a half and then and now we need to make y the subject of the formula the half is going to carry x and then we're going to have y being equal to a half to the power x so there we go this is the inverse of f of x in the form of y is equal to 6.4 let's go ahead and do that sketch the graph f inverse indicate on your graph the intercepts with the axis and the coordinates of one other point on the graph okay let's see so we need the intercept so let's start with the x intercept we let y be equals to zero so we're gonna get zero being equals to a half to the power x we know that this is impossible if you have a half to the power any number it can never be zero it can get very close to zero but it actually never gets to be zero so there's no x intercept for y and then y intercept let's see if uh, that exists we're gonna have zero being equals to a half to the power x so this is our, our y intercept we're interested in x and x is up there so what can we do we cannot write zero with the base of half because we have said that that is impossible so we can introduce can we introduce log on both sides let's see if we introduce log on both sides we're gonna have log of zero which can't be true well i'm doing this the wrong way i'm letting y be equal to zero i'm surprised because issues are arising y intercept we are supposed to let x be equals to zero not to let y be equals to zero so any number to the power zero is one okay now we're good to go i was getting surprised i was getting surprised right uh, that uh, that is a terrible mistake there um yeah um just like i realized it and that's 6.4 we have the x intercept we have the y intercept uh we need one other point so we have 
y being equal to a half x. Which point do we want to substitute? Let's substitute x equals to 1. If we substitute x equals to 1, a half to the power 1 is just a half. So these are the three points we're interested in. So let's sketch that. We just need our x's. The y axis and the x axis. So our points of interest, we have x intercept doesn't exist. Um, and then y intercept is at one. So we have a coordinate here. And then when x is equals to one, like we are saying, y is equals to a half. So somewhere here we have our other point. Somewhere here we have our other point. And then our graph is going to look something like this. Uh, this is what we're going to have. We know that a half to the power x cannot be negative. So, um, yeah, we cannot go over that line. We need to stay above it. So there we go. That is uh, the sketch of f inverse 6.4. Um, okay, let's just be a bit formal. This is x and this is y. Uh, this right here is y intercept, so 0 and 1, and this right here is the other point, uh, 1 and a half. All right, looks more clean. 6.5, determine the equation of the asymptote of G. Okay, so G, graph F and the asymptote of G, they intersect at B. So we can use F and the point B to find the asymptote of g so f of x was and still is log of x with the base of half so we want to substitute b of coordinates a half and q so that we can find the value of q in doing that we get q is equals to log of a half the base is a half this is equals to one and that is the asymptote of G.